Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today I'm out exploring a creek I haven't been to in many years. This creek has changed dramatically since last I was here and I'm excited to fish around today and re-explore it and hopefully find some new spots. But from what I understand, this creek has got some absolute monster brown trout in it, as well as a good amount of rainbow trout. So I'm really excited to hop in here today and just see what we can catch. But with those brown trout being in here, I wanted to start out the day throwing around one of my yellow creek bugs, the small split shot weight on that six pound four carbon line. Spooled up onto that Fluger President size 30, and I've got that Fenwick Eagle seven foot two piece medium fast action to help us get those bigger fish out of here if we're lucky enough to catch one. But let's not waste any time. We've got a beautiful stretch right here to start off our day. So let's hop in here and let's see if we can get anything to bite. Well, I've been flipping around that creek bug for a while now. Haven't seen any fish. We're gonna continue downstream back out there towards the road, see if we can find any out that way. But so far, no fish at stop number one. So let's keep it moving. Wow, check out this big old deep pool. So far, we haven't found any fish. We have found some beautiful places. This one right here is particularly gorgeous. See if there's any fish hanging out in here. I'll tell you there should be. Big old deep pool like this. There we go, fish on right there. We finally found this one, everybody. Beautiful fish too. There we go. Kicking off our day with a gorgeous little rainbow trout. There we go. Beautiful fish number one right there. Short and chunky. Give him the old toss back in. There he goes. Heck yeah, everyone. Well, looks like just one fish out of here. And if I had to guess, I would say it was a holdover that's been living in here since the previous stocking when it got washed down the stream. I've heard that this particular hole does not get stock, although the stocking line is close by. So I'm gonna continue up around this corner, see if we can find anything else, and then we're gonna keep it moving. What a beautiful area everyone a farmer in this area has opened up his property to let people come in and fish so they come back in here and they stock this area what a awesome thing for them to do all kinds of awesome stuff going on back in here i'm very blessed to have this opportunity to fish a lot of people don't realize that these properties are private 
and they're open only because the owners allow it to happen so really best to take care of them clean up anything you see treat it with respect so we can keep it going for the future There's one. Oh. There we go. I finally got that one to take it. We're talking about a pretty one too. He did look like a brook. Beautiful fish. There's fish number three for the day. I'll take him. Man, that's a pretty one. Well, everyone, that is pretty much going to do it for today's little adventure. Wasn't a very productive day by any means, but we were able to get out here, enjoy some beautiful scenery. Fisher Creek that I haven't been to in quite a long time. Did a ton of exploring. Found all kinds of beautiful holes for the future. But all in all, a pretty good day. But it's time to get out of here. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, drop me a comment down below. Every comment really does help out the channel, and I do my best to reply to each and every one of them. Be out there if you can, everyone, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. Most importantly, be safe and tight lines.